Hello everybody, Reggie Time here and today we're going to be looking at all the pots I played since the end of the last video um, that have been around 50 big blinds won or lost or more uh, some might be interesting, most have just been you know, pretty straightforward I would imagine um, and I've only got 35 minutes, 35 to 40 minutes to do it in so let's not be messing. Let's not be messing around anymore, um, and let's get on with it. So here we have the King Seven. We ISO a limper. Oh, by the way, I should say by the way, we're not playing with the hood anymore. I I don't have my hood running when I'm playing, but we are having hood runnings in the reviews, uh, to see if I maybe would have done something differently had I known someone's exact stats. Um, but yeah, we don't have. I got rid of the hood. Um, last weekend because I actually think hoods for me not necessarily for you or for other people maybe do more harm than good um, yeah we'll go into that another day but yeah we're, we're playing without a hood and we're enjoying it um, so if I sword maybe we could have gone a little bit bigger but um, yeah we I sword the King 7 I think it was on the button and maybe would have gone bigger but we still three people to go behind me probably where we're with this size anyway we get called in two spots by two little recreational very recreational very vip we flop top pair we get led into we raise small i don't know where this must i imagine i've clicked the wrong button here because i don't even, i'm not even sure we want to raise maybe higher read on this guy uh, so maybe we do want to raise against this guy uh, for, for value, like protection, etc. Maybe yet we just look quite aggressive post flop. But yeah, this size, I've this looks like I've clicked my fifty percent button or thirty three percent button or whatever it was. <coughs> and um, yeah, this won't have been. Will it have been two and a half times? Maybe it isn't a misclick. Who knows? Anyway, so that's what we did. We get a call up here. And another call there. <coughs> and we turn what's well, probably the nuts. Um, check, check. A two thirds pot. Call, call. River quads. Wonderful. Check, check. All in, I guess. Call, call. Happy days. And this gentleman had two jacks. That's why you probably don't want to have a 4% three bet. Because had he played his jacks correctly pre-flop, he would have known that one a decent pot from this fellow rather than losing a decent pot to me. But never mind. <clears throat> Two kings. Speed it up, Reggie. Time is of the essence. We're in the small blind. We make it a large three bet. Uh, we make it a large ISO. ISO immediately fails when whale big blind comes along and then the with the position limper comes along and then he goes all in. This ISO is going remarkably well. Uh, so we're all in, he's all in, and um, we get it all in, and let's sweat what we're up against. Yeah, we had shown on whole cards. What are we up against? Here's queen and two sevens. Happy days. Not very interesting, but they're not selected for how interesting they are. They're selected for how much we have won or lost. Two tens, raise, button... Whale calls. Um, big, bigish bet. Call. Three. I mean, in the 64 slash 18, he can probably have. I don't know. I'm tagging. Probably just. I'll tag him now. But it will stop me having to do it if I ever choose to use a hood again. Um, yeah, three. Pro shouldn't have too much 3x in his button flying range. Ace three, I guess. Four three suited maybe who knows he shouldn't have too much three x but he can definitely have some three x anyway we continue betting he calls uh river now double pairs the board i think we should do we still continue betting here we can get value from like pocket sevens pocket eights five x ace high do we can do we block here i guess that's the question I think we probably should. I remember the hand and I didn't block. 
I elected to check to allow him to like blow up his 4x, his 7x, things like that. Uh, um, He goes, well, not all in, but he just bets full pot. I like a shit reg that I am called. This assuming that he could have some like 7x, 4x, etc. Maybe value betting a five randomly, who knows. Uh, these people are just so wild. It's hard to like arrange them. It's just like, right, okay. How strong is my hand, basically? It's an over pair. He's a whale. I guess I'm not folding. Um, and he had that, so good for him. Jack, queen, or suit. Any position, open. Flatted by very loose passive player on the button. Open top pair. Betting. Getting raised. Uh, it doesn't really matter here, does it? I mean, we had the call and let him bluff it up on the turn or let him bet the turn or we just jam now. It doesn't really matter what we do. I decided to try and be tricky this time. Check, he jams, we call, obviously. And, oh, he cooled his dick off. Top pair versus top pair. Fascinating. Limping the deuce in the small blind, getting ice on. I've got a feeling a set might be incoming here. Because I can't see another way I put all these 50 big blinds in without a set. Yeah, there it is. Check. Bet half pot, fold. Um, this guy's got semi reggish that's shit but semi reggish um just raise i think i think like check raising flops better than check raising turn the board's so dry that we don't really rep any draws so it's you know if the guy doesn't have an ace I mean, if, he, yeah, if he doesn't have an ace he's going to fall to the check raise you would imagine because the board's so fucking dry and we don't represent any draws but now, if he has got, like, an, an ace and we get to check call, I do not want the turn checking through. Um, yeah, just try and build the pot now, basically. So, hopefully, I raise. Yep, we do. Um, he calls. Turn ace. Assuming the guy's got an ace, he's called a check raise, albeit a small one. Um, unless he's got some kind of, like, backdoor hand, uh, but one of which is now maybe developed. Bit big, I guess. Yep, we do. He calls. And all in. I just hope he doesn't have ace jack. And he had ace queen, so that's. But it's not really a cooler. I mean, I think if you're playing micro stakes poker and you are calling check raises on that board and then calling down two streets with top pair, second top kicker, you'd. You're going to be losing money, especially against other eggs. Um, just really hard for me to have many bluffs there. Um, it's unlikely I'm going to be check raising a worse ace. Even one of my worst aces gets there on the river. I think he's played this hand really quite poorly. I think he can just check fold, flop. I mean, once he gets the turn, he can't fold me. I thought he bet fold, flop. It seems really nitty. But when you get check raised on this board, a six deuce by, a, by another quote unquote reg. Um, you're in trouble. So who knows? Maybe I'm just being a nit. Anyway, I need a shit, so I'll be back shortly. And we're back, and you lads didn't need to, you girls and boys didn't need to know that. I went out for a few pints with number two son last night to celebrate the birth of my granddaughter two weeks ago. The first pub we went in, the pint was fucking rank. It was flat. It was it was just a flat out bad pint. I should have given it back, really, and just said, look, give me something else. But I sucked it, and yeah. I'm paying for it this morning. I am definitely paying for it this morning. I've got pretty bad. I don't feel hungover at all because we didn't have that many. We only had like seven pints, something like that. I don't, I don't think it was a whiskey. But by Christ, I'm paying for it this morning in the belly department. Anyways, we've now only got 25 minutes, so we need to get the fuck on with this because there's loads more to get through. 10-9, uh, we raised the button. Get a tiny three bet from... An absolute whopper. Uh, we can't fold, even though we've only got 10-9 off. So we don't. Uh, we've got three nines. How fascinating. We He bets um, half pot, I guess. You call. 
Yvette's just over one third pot. We decide we're all in because he hasn't got that much left. He calls. And he had pocket aces. Unlucky, sir. Do a bit bigger next time. You're moron. Um, two kings. Open it up. Get my first a min three bet. Oh, wow. This guy's got a 1% three bet. Over 795 hands. That's quite the thing. Um, we have Mr. Four bet. He goes all in. We call. He's almost certainly got aces. Jax gets there anyway. How'd you have a one percent three bet over seven hundred and ninety five hands, but then have Jax in there? Because that you would just think that one percent, like literally three from two hundred and sixty eight. You'd imagine that was just aces, wouldn't you? But never mind. He had Jax got there anyway. Hallelujah. Uh, on to the next one. Six five. We open, but pretty loose open. But who gives a fuck? Um, call from the big blind, flop a gut shot. I imagine we see better here. We do. He calls, ripping off the nuts on the turn. He checks. Um, I wouldn't hit over bet here. I mean, he's checked on a big bet on a pretty dry flop. I doubt I do over bet, but I wouldn't mind a single raise pot. You know, we want to try and get stacks in at some point. We've got the nuts. So I wouldn't hit over bet. Let's see what I actually did. Big bet, but not over bet. Call. Still got the notes. Check. See, now if we'd have gone over bet turn, we could have shoved river. Maybe we just shoved river anyway. Who knows? I don't remember the hand. If we'd have put an extra 10 big blinds in on the turn, we'd have had 74 left. There'd have been 60 in the pot. Sorry, he'd have had, yeah. He'd have had 67 left. There'd be 60 in the pot. We could just shove. Um, I end up going with that size. He just calls. Yeah, I mean, the guy didn't three bet ace king three, but yeah, over bet turn ridge, I think. Um, two jacks, isolating a limper, getting three bet by an orange tag, which is my tag for bad reg. Oh, well, not bad, not necessarily bad reg, but just boring reg. You know, like not not out of line reg. Um. Or just generally boring in general. So this orange tag, it's quite a broad scope. It's got like some reasonably competent regs all the way down to people who just play like tight fish. Um, basically, the orange tag means tight fish, but some of them are better than others, of course. Uh, and th this guy probably isn't a fish, given he's 23, 20, etc., etc. But um, yeah, the tags mean stuff to me, even though they're maybe not brilliant uh, in terms of like really separating players out. Uh, anyway, we've got two jacks. I imagine we should probably just rip or fold here. Don't think we have a call against this size, do we? Who knows? This guy now calls. He got nine bigs. Yeah, no, I think we have to have an all in now. I think we have to go all in. Yeah, we do. <coughs> I think this extra dead money, this extra 30 bigs gives us a really nice overlay. Uh, against these guys like ace king, ace queen when we're in flips, etc. Maybe sometimes very unlikely he folds when people like ISO, uh, sorry, three bet 4.5 up to 20. Very rare the folding. I think your fold equity is limited. But this guy just puts like some juice in there. So yeah, we just hope we're flipping against ace king or what have you. I think this is fine. Don't mind if we win or lose. Up against two queens. Can't say I'm surprised. Ace three off, okay. <coughs> so we've defended ace three off in position against some kind of regular. No, nope. we three bet it, okay. Getting spicy. Um, he calls, flop nothing. We c bet two thirds pot. I think this is way too big. This is a mistake. I'm certain. He calls. Ace on the turn. I mean, because he's got a big bet on the flop. Is that... I'm not going to try to say here. Yeah, I think big bet folds out 
So maybe, am I doing what you say? I don't fucking know. But basically, I think we should probably just check this turn. Because I think we probably folded out some ASX on the flop with our bet. Not loads, but some. And I think his rage is going to be more heavily weighted towards pocket pairs uh, that we just jumped way out ahead of and probably won't call a second barrel. Uh, check back. Spade on the river. I mean, he kind of some flushes. Um, of course, but not, you know, not fucking loads and loads. You wouldn't imagine. Well, maybe he fucking can. What the fuck do I know? Anyway, he bets the river three quarters pot. We've got no more kicker issues. We do. I think we only like lose to flushes here, really. I uh, don't think he's got any full houses, etc. He might have some flushes. I think this is a butchered hand in general from me. We call, and he had the no flush. Absolutely insane. On to the next one. Ace, ten of hearts. We raise. VIP called small blind. Flop air. Check back. All right. Okay. I think this is bad. No reason to bet ace high on this board, but we did anyway. Uh, turn a good shot. Now I think we can continue betting. I think we now have some fold equity against his jack x. At some point, we might be able. He might not fold this trip. We might fold the river. Uh, we can still get value from like worse draws. Maybe he now starts folding some seven x and six x. So I don't mind betting again here. Once we bet the flop, I don't like the flop bet, but once we do, I think turns a pretty mandatory barrel. Uh, then we deliver the nuts. And then he just goes all in. And we get queen jack. Nine, six, suited. Raise small blind, get caught by the recreational big blind, flop to top and bottom pair, C bet, raise, all in, call. Absolutely fascinating. And he had two tens. Well, three tens by the end of the hand. Uh, raise the six five suited. Big blind calls. Flop a pair. Uncomfortable check call, I guess. Turn a flush draw. Get small. Aha, I remember this hand. I was thought this guy maybe had a jack. Because uh, he bet. Bet, big bet flop, then downsize his turn. I'm like, right, okay, let's just run it again. Well, not run it against a jack, but let's like try and put some pressure on a jack. We've got a pair in a flush draw. He might fold a jack. We go for a check raise. He gives zero fucks and goes all in. I'm like, uh-oh, we're in trouble now. Um, I just presume when he downsized the turn that he was like, wanted to continue betting a jack for protection, but like wasn't confident in it. So I thought we could maybe make him fold it. Uh, and now we just have to call because we've got like we need 34 percent equity we've got a pair and a flush draw we've probably got somewhere near that um all on ready punty from me and we have a two pairs which was good so go us aren't we fucking geniuses i was right with my read though he didn't like his jack as much on the turn even though his equity has improved in terms of like he picked up a flush draw um my read was right on his sizing. Uh, that he was less in love with it. Um, limp. I saw a small blind. Re I saw a big blind. All in call. Okay, boring. Up against the Hidden Jacks. Fascinating. On to the next one. Ten six shooted. Um, limp, limp. Check. Top and bottom pair. Sorry, bottom two pair. Bet. Raise. Re raise from me, I guess. Call. Turn a boat. Check. <laughs> okay. All in. Call. Um, we beat slow play kings. Beautiful. King and a king. Squeeze. Call. Original razor folds. Person in the squeeze calls. Um, maybe could have gone bigger against a recreational. Calls anyway. Queen turn. All in. See, if we'd have gone slightly bigger on the flop, we wouldn't be over betting all in now, would we? He calls anyway. And, <laughs> and uh, yeah. The guy had the Jack 5 off suit. Which is an interesting um, 
interesting way to play the Jack Five. I found there. I wouldn't recommend that strategy. Uh, anyway, we don't have time to fucking be like that. We just gotta crack on. King Queen of Suit. Let me just top me bait up. We've raised into a player. I wasn't that familiar with him at the time, but he was an aggro little fucker. And I was aware of that, even though I didn't have my HUD stats going, of course. I was aware that he was an aggro little fucker. And he was, frankly, he was getting on my fucking nerves. Um, he three bets here. He four bet. This is a fine hand to four bet. I think it's close to pure. So even though he's getting on my nerves, this is completely fine. Uh, he's not tilt or anything like that. He calls. Pop an open end there. Bet 10%. I guess we're trying to set up like a bet. Hope he raises jam situation here. He calls. Turn the absolute nuts. Big bet. He calls. Board pairs river. Which is disappointing. But the guy's an aggro fucker. Um... I don't want to dwell on this too much, but what do I think we should... I remember, I remember what I did, but what do I think I should do? Away from the emotion and the like, the extra pressure that's added with playing in-game. Um, what do I think he can have here? I don't think he can have pocket fours. He can absolutely have pocket nines for a full house. He can have pocket jacks for a full house. There's his like, two most likely value. He has jack ten suited as well, probably all of them. Two combinations with that left. And then, like, what other hands can you have that want to call us? Um, guess you can have hands like Ace Jack. 10x. Hmm, don't know. Anyways, I just had to go for the 10% block. This guy literally snap jammed, and I don't think you snap jam with a full house. I did this, and within like two seconds, he was all in. Uh, I think most players with a full house would like dwell a bit there, like Hollywood it up a little bit. Um, I snap called because, yeah, I'm probably beat, or the chance of beat, but I'm not folding. So just rip the plaster off. And he had that hand, and I'm. Don't know if I love his river jam. Maybe I do. Maybe I quite like it. Sexy. Uh, where we at here now? This one, I think. We've got the Queen Eight of Spades. I saw a limper. <clears throat> Get called. It's someone who didn't limp. Missed the flop. Check back. <clears throat> he. Small probes turn. Call with that gut shot. <laughs> Don't know about this. Uh, we river a straight. He now bets small again. We raise. He goes all in. We call. And he had the nuts. Nice answer. Open pocket seven. Let's get tiny three bet from the small blind. Call. Flop a set, what a fucking surprise. He checks, we bet, probably go bigger here against a recreational player. He calls. Could maybe go bigger again. He bets a river. We hit our lives, but we can't fold. <laughs> and he had Jack Queen on. Whatever. Oh. All right, ace king. We face an all in. Whatever. Run it, run it, run it, run it, run it. He had nine five off suit. Fascinating. Ten nine suited. Raise the button. Three bet. Defend. Miss. Bet. Raise.
I don't think I hate this. I mean, we've got a very bad hand. We've got some back doors. And this, like, three bet, C bet, one third pot is classic shit reg, isn't it? And <clears throat> I don't mean that it's a bad line. It's just classic shit reg behaviour. C bet, three bet, one third pot. Sorry, three bet, C bet, one third pot. It's going to have a load of hand here. We'll just have to fold. Even versus this small raise, even though we're not repping much either. Um, calls. Turn a pair. Check, check. River, he, I remember this happened yesterday. He bets this much. I put him on aces and called anyway. So that's what I did. Fortunately, he had the ace king. Jack, queen, off suit. Open. Call. 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 Everyone's called. Flop the absolute nizzles. Beautiful. Check. Bet. Call. Check. Bet. Raise. All in. Call. Let's have a look what he's got. He's got the nut flush. Oh, and now he's got a straight flush. That pissed me off. Can't lie, that one stung a little bit. That's a table I shouldn't be at. Very rare red tags are out. This means like pretty aggro regs. Can't fold the nines, obviously. Fascinating. We flop a set. Bet. <coughs> we call. Bet to half pot. We're all in. He folds. And he snapped left the table, and I liked it. Um, pocket aces. Squeeze. All in. Yes, Queen. Did we win? Yes, we did. Move along, Wedge. Move along. We're nearly done. Gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Um, Race the button. Call. Squeeze. Call. Fold. Top pair. Bet bigger, Reg. You're up against a fucking mess of a player. Just bet fucking bigger. Min raise. Call. Check, check. Check. Bet, call, it's 10. Could have got the lot there, but I'm a moron. We have 28 bigs on the table. Just bet bigger, Reg. Top bear, top kicker, three bet pop, whopper. Bet big. Um, win, raise, min three bet. Need to defend. Flop and open and straight flush draw. Go all in because fuck this guy. He calls anyway. He had two kings and we lost. And these two hands are from this morning. Uh, limp, limp, limp. This guy has no business being a yellow tag. God, my guts are churning again. That bad pint is really coming back to haunt me. Uh, I saw, but way too small. What is this? <coughs> um, call, call, I call. Flop a flush draw. Check. This guy checks. Whereas he just doesn't have anything. Uh, this guy bets eight big blinds. He was being very aggro post flop, as you can see by these numbers. Forty-five percent bet flop, seventy-three eighty-five. Just run it against this guy, in my opinion, for his peasant stack. Raise. He gets out of the way. This guy calls, which is disappointing. Have to jam the turn, even though we have zero fold equity. Jam the turn. He calls, and he called with King Deuce off suit. Well done, sir. You're going to win the pot. Yeah, King Deuce off. Cause a check raise on the flop. King Deuce off. Last hand. Two kings. Limp. Iso. Call. Six eye flop. Bet. Raise. Call. Turn ten. Check. Pot. Call. River four. Not happy about it. Donks all in. We've only got 30 bigs left. Call. Queen six suited. All in all. That is the graph for this uh, period where I've stopped using a hood. This was a particularly grotesque Saturday night session where we just lost every all-in. Um, as can be seen by that. So it wasn't just us punting around. We lost every all-in. We are currently, whatever, nearly five buy-ins below EV. But we're running at 12 big blinds, 100. Really, really happy.
um, can't complain at all. And um, yeah, this is going to be the last video for at least two weeks. It's half term next week, which means the hours I work makes it difficult to make videos. And the week after, my wife is off work because it's a holiday week. It's her birthday week, and we're going to be doing a few things. So there won't be a video now until somewhere around the middle of June, I wouldn't imagine. So don't worry if, I don't see, if you don't see anything. I'm not dead. I just don't have time to do videos. So take care, everybody. Have a good few weeks. As always, fuck the Tories, uh, and we'll see you in the next one. I'm off for another shit because my gut feels like it's full of razor blades. Take care and bye-bye for now.